Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, currently I am in Kabira Mobility's head office which is in Goa. I came here to review both these electric bikes. These are second generation electric bikes from Kabira Mobility. This is called Kabira KM3000 Mark II. And this is called Kabira KM4000 Mark II. So these are the second generation electric bikes from Kabira Mobility. So they manufacture these electric bikes in Karnataka and they are going to launch both these electric bikes on Feb 14. Kabira Mobility is offering some very good features in these both electric bikes like 120 kmph top speed, 204 km IDC range, 0 to 80% charge in just 2 hours. So like this, there are many special features in both these electric bikes. So let's know about them one by one. Before looking into all those features, let's discuss about this Kabira KM series. So Kabira has launched the first series of this KM electric bikes in 2021. So after 3 years, they have done some improvements and some changes in both these electric bikes and they are launching the mark 2 series of this km series on this feb 14th so first of all let's talk about this kabira km 3000 so this kabira km 3000 is a electric bike which comes in sporty design as you can see this resembles kawasaki racing bikes as you can see the design looks same like that so it comes with a very good sporty position the main differences between this kabira km 3000 and kabira km 4000 is the seating position and the front design apart from that electronic components and the physical components of both these bikes are same if you look at this kabira km 3000 this looks like a sporty electric bike and that looks like a street naked electric bike so let's talk about this one by one the main special features about this kabira km 3000 are this frunk so we can literally open the front frunk of this kabira km 3000 electric bike so this comes with a 8 to 10 liters of frunk in which we can easily fit a small half face helmet and we'll get a small lock to lock this frunk also and all the components of this kabira km 3000 apart from this frunk are ip67 rated and as you can see it comes with dual projector led headlamps a clip-on handlebar a good sporty design and a 5000 watts BLDC hub motor. So these are some of the highlight features of this Kabira KM3000. So let's discuss about the designing of this Kabira KM3000 one by one. So if you look at the front, these are the rear view mirrors and this is the windshield of this KM3000. If we come down here, we have dual projector LED headlamps with the LED DRLs. Under this, we have Kabira Mobility's logo and this is the mudguard of this electric bike. And if you look at the braking system, this Kabira, both this electric bikes has disc brake in the front as well as rear if you look at the suspension so the front suspension is powered by showa as we all know showa is one of the biggest suspension manufacturer in india so this gets a telescopic suspension in the front from showa when it comes to tires we get 110 by 70 section or 17 inches tires in this kabira km 3000 and kabira km 4000 front and if you look at the side part so this is the side part of this Kabira KM3000 electric bike. So this is the battery pack of this Kabira KM3000. Both these Kabira KM3000 and Kabira KM4000 electric bikes gets 4.01 kilowatt hour fixed battery pack. So they have used NMC chemistry in these electric bikes. So with the help of this 4.01 kilowatt hour battery pack, Kabira is claiming 204 kilometers IDC range, but the real range comes to 142 kilometers on a single charge. When it comes to the motor, the rated power of this electric motor is 5000 watts and the peak power is 12000 watts and with the help of this motor both these electric bikes can go up to a top speed of 120 km per hour and this can generate 93 newton meters of peak torque from it the motor and controller are made by foxconn as we all know foxconn also assembles apple devices in india so the same foxconn company is providing the motor as well as controller of this electric bike when i switch on this electric bike once so you can hear a small fan sound so this fan sound is coming from the controller so the controller is powered by a air cooled there will be some fans to cool down the controller so when you off this electric bike the controller will also switch off 
so when you take this electric bike for the first service so they will change the whole mechanism of this controller so they will adjust according to the temperature of the battery as well as motor and once let's look at the rear part of this Kabira KM4000 both the rear parts of this both electric bikes will be exactly same so here we get a mono shock rear suspension as you look the rear suspension the rear suspension setup is a bit different when it compares to other electric bikes or other petrol bikes to improve the rear suspension performance Kabira has designed this kind of suspension in this Kabira KM3000 and Kabira KM4000 electric bikes so when it comes to rear in the rear, we'll get 140 by 60 section R 17 inches wheels in this Kabira KM3000 as well as in Kabira KM4000. When it comes to the charger, Kabira has given 1500 watts onboard charger in both these electric bikes. This is the charging point of this Kabira KM3000. And on the other side, there will be charging port for this Kabira KM3000. So with the help of this 1500 watts onboard charger, both these electric bikes takes just two hours to get it charged from zero to 80%. And they take four hours to get it charged from zero to 100%. Now without any delay, let's start riding both these electric bikes and I'll share you my personal opinion after riding these. Friends, currently I am riding Kabira KM3000 in this Goa. So this is the sports design oriented electric bike from Kabira. So this bike can produce 190 Newton meters of torque. Let's test the top speed of this electric bike in the first mode. I already tested it. So it's going around 31 to 32 kmh in the first mode. But I am in a slope right now. So I am switched it to city mode. So basically this has three riding modes, eco, city and sports. So I am riding this electric bike in city mode now. So in the sports mode, it can go up to a top speed of 120 kmph. So coming to the warranty, Kabira is offering two years warranty on this electric bike and three years extended warranty. You can pay some a certain amount of money and you can take three years additional warranty on this electric bike. So coming to the riding field, the first thing which I observed while riding this electric bike is the riding posture. The riding posture is so sporty but uh, it's not that confidence inspiring maybe i'm riding this electric bike for the first time maybe that's the reason i couldn't able to rip open it so i'm not getting that enough confidence to rip open this electric bike but let's try i'm in the sports mode now and the display color changed to red color okay the brakes are good but they are a bit scary so sunset is done in the goa so the riding poster is so good whoever likes this sporty kind of design will enjoy this electric bike so much so while coming to the price the pricing details of this electric bike is not revealed yet the final pricing will be announced on feb 14 i am riding this electric bike on feb 12 so i'll update the pricing in the comment box or in the description below please go ahead and check from there so quality wise it's okay braking wise not confident inspiring Riding is okay, but it takes time to get used to it. So these are my initial ride impressions on this Kabira KM3000. So now let's ride Kabira KM4000. Friends, I am riding Kabira KM4000 now. Okay. I missed the route, so I have to go in the direction. Let us go there. Okay, so this is Kabira KM4000. As you can see, the riding poster has been changed compared to Kabira KM3000. As I am in a slope right now, so I kept it in the sports mode. So they are claiming 120 kmph of top speed. Now let's check it. Okay, it went up to 77, 78, but I don't want to rip open it as this is a new bike for me and these are new roads for me compared to km3000 i like this km4000 because the maneuverability and the flickability on this electric bike is so good so as you can see i can able to flicker this electric bike a bit but km4000 was very stable so the riding posture of this electric bike is so good so they gave a long handlebar so this gives so much confidence while we ride this electric bike on the highway or on the streets. So I love this electric bike. And as you can see, my legs position is also a bit on the sportier side. 
but the pickup initial pull of this electric bike is so good head out to www.kabiramobility.com to book the test rides of this km 3000 and km 4000 mark 2 electric bikes so friends these are my initial impressions on this kabira km 3000 and 4000 when i'll get an opportunity to test these electric bikes for one long day then i can share you my honest opinion on these electric bikes as of now i love the kabira km 4000 more than kabira km 3000 because this is a bit on the practical side those who love the sporty kind of uh, bikes can opt that kabira km 3000 so these are my initial impressions on the kabira electric bikes if you found the video informative please hit the like button what's your opinion on this kabira electric bikes please let me know in the comments so that's it for today's video guys see you in next video until then go green go electric